Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK. Uh, a common problem we have when we sell a 1U chassis is with the IO shields that come in a standard motherboard. So, there we are, a standard IO shield that you'll get in every motherboard box when you buy one. All fine and dandy when you're going to fit it into a standard ATX uh, PC, but when you come to use it in a low height 1U chassis, like this one here, our ATX 1U, the height of the shield is actually higher than the chassis, so obviously it won't fit. Seems to be a big issue, everyone jumping up and down and screaming about it. And in fairness, it took me a while to sort something out. We can ask um, manufacturers in China to make lower versions of IO shields, but the problem with that is they change all the time and they're a bit um, slow, so by the time we get one, the chances are the board's just about to be discontinued. So, another option, as a lot of our customers do, is just to leave the thing out and not have an IO shield at all. I suppose if it's in a dust-free rack somewhere, no one's really going to care. Or, you can make one up yourself. Um, get a bit of uh, card or plastic and cut out the shape which is the same size and fit it in. All of those are options, however there is an easier one. Just find yourself a Dremel or something like a Dremel. You should be able to pick one up for between about 25 and 65 quid, depending what type it is, what manufacturer. Get a little um, cutting blade at the end for steel. They're only aluminium, these uh, shields. So basically what you do is Dremel the top off. Just lob it off, just measure it out first, and then cut through it. Cuts like butter, aluminium, so it's easy to do. And then you end up with a nice fitting IO shield. Simple as that. If you're a customer of ours and you're buying a number of uh, one use and you've got this headache, if you want to send me your IO shields, I'll cut them down for you. Thanks for listening.